Right. Mr. Aguilar, some of your colleagues have floated the idea that Speaker Johnson find himself in another motion to vacate situation, that they might be willing to support him in his speakership to prevent some of the chaos that we saw with Speaker McCarthy. Is that a view that you share? Is there any benefit to this idea of isolating the conservatives that threaten this from time to time so that governing can continue through the rest of the year? Well, I think it's an important point because we want this place to work. We want to govern. And that's what House Democrats want. That's what we want out of a speaker, by the way. Uh, and if the prior speaker would have been focused on governing, then we might not be in this position. Um, but we want to see this speaker uh, work uh, to govern. But uh, we have seen, uh, just like last week and uh, on other issues, he chooses to listen to the most extreme voices in his conference. And if you're going to listen to Marjorie Taylor Greene on policy, uh, then we're probably going to have some disagreements. So if he's willing to, to isolate uh, some of the most extreme voices in his conference to work, uh, then uh, I think we can have a somewhat productive year uh, and at least avoid the cliffs that we have and the government funding deadlines um, but if he's willing to listen to the most extreme voices in this conference, uh, then uh, then that's another story. The House Democratic Caucus has not had any of these discussions. These are all hypotheticals, you know, at this point. Um, but I do want to reiterate that we want to make this place work. Uh, so to the extent we can find partners uh, that will help do that, uh, and a reminder that the continuing resolution, I assume this week, uh, that we're going to vote on that will need um, uh, a significant majority of the House Democratic Caucus, we will put up the votes for that, just as we have in the past, uh, to avoid the debt limit, uh, to avoid um, uh, government shutdown uh, previously with continuing resolutions. House Democrats are going to put up the votes to govern. Chad? Yeah, it looks like the when you talk about putting the votes in the back seat, and the president in the north, they have a you know, very small majority of this couple of seats here that Democrats, time and time again, are providing the votes. Uh, on these must be bills. I mean, I mean, describe what that's like over and over again with you guys over the bills. Well, we we want to we want govern, and I think that's I, I think that's what we always come back to is we don't we don't mind this. Um, we know that they are a dysfunctional majority. Uh, we know that they do not have uh, actual votes to govern. The only thing that binds them together are some of the issues that you're seeing this week. Um, you know, uh, opposing women's reproductive freedom, opposing abortion care. Uh, supporting censures, uh, impeachments, those are the only things that bind Republicans together. So of course every week they're going to bring those issues up. It is, it is truly the only thing that can get them 218 votes on any given, on any given week. Now, when it comes to governing and actually pol passing policy bills, the House Democratic Caucus, we, we came here, we were elected uh, to make our communities better and to advance uh, and to make progress on so many significant issues. So of course we know that that's going to mean you know, compromise and discussion, and we don't mind uh, putting up votes uh, to keep government funded and to keep government open. We feel that that's uh, our responsibility, our, our mandate, our charge, and our, our duty. But you hear from some of your members saying, why are we condemning even though it might be the right thing to do on that, government funding, then why would we have to be able to I mean, is there ever any pushback people saying, let them fund it? No, I think that there's pushback when, um, when we aren't part of the negotiation process and we're asked to put up a significant number of votes. And I think that's why House Democrats want to be uh, at the table. Uh, if you're going to ask us to help fund government, then this is truly going to have to be, um, you know, Washington words here, you know, four corners discussions on appropriations bills, uh, on, on tax policy bills, on the things that could actually move and, um, and have success. Uh, House Democrats deserve to be at the table because we're providing votes to uh, make these policies happen. Max? Uh, 